What's happening, fam? Um, LAR movement still moving. You see the thumbnail, right? Belly. I don't like that. I don't like that shit at all. That's how the hood feels about your come up. You know, you were raised in the hood. And you left, you know. Maybe you grew up and you charted, you know, uh, new territories. You, you, you went on your journey in life and maybe you became successful in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Maybe you stayed in the same city, but you just in a different area. And you from the hood, right? You still love the neighborhood. It's all love. But you came up and people in the neighborhood... Don't like that. And maybe you didn't even come up in that neighborhood. It was, I'm going to get into that too. But you from the hood. So people don't like it. There are people who just don't like it. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. You know, what you doing for the hood? Well, bro, I ain't even from this hood. Why are you asking me what I'm doing from a hood, doing for the hood that I ain't from? I, what if I'm, what if, maybe I'm not helping your hood. Maybe I'm helping my own. So, so I got to help your, yours and mine? Are you going to help mine? If I help yours, you're going to help mine. You know, but a legitimate question. But let's take this a step further. One thing people seem to forget, it seems like you got one age group who left the hood, and part of that age group stayed. So now you have the group that left and the group that stayed. They're in the same group, you know. Let's just say 35 to 40, right? So those people probably have kids, right? And your kid, the, the, these kids are like, you know, I don't like this person because they ain't do nothing for the hood. Or, or you know, or they have family members. Let's just say from 15 to 25, right? Like, I don't like that person. I know of that person. I, I knew, I seen them growing up. And now, you know, they think they too good for us because they came up. And if I see them, it's going to be on, even though I don't really know them like that and they don't know me like that. But I feel like they came up and they owe the hood and why they ain't doing nothing for me. Well, here's the thing. You're asking somebody who don't know you to do something for you that your family didn't do for you, but you ain't beefing with your family like you beefing with this person that don't know you because it's on site with them. And you, you catch people off guard with that. Like, I don't owe you, bro. Like, who are you? I'm such and such. I know that last name. You related to da 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 da? Yeah, I am. You know what I'm saying? And, and they told me who you was. And they said, you know, you this, you that. You know what I'm saying? You, you going you gonna to pay what you owe in these streets. Um, ain't that the same family member that, that threw their life away? They said they got caught up. No, they threw their life away, playboy. So the reason you're living in squalor is because your family went down in squalor because they invested in your family member who was a screw up and they leveraged all of they, 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 they money, their finances, they, they, their net worth to fix it. And subsequently, you're one of the kids who don't have any financial future because of them. But you got to be for me. That's interesting. I ain't do nothing to you, but okay. Well, but I came up, so it's my fault, you know. And then we got to talk about, you know, how you don't like that. You don't like that at all. Well, maybe just maybe you did come up. And maybe just maybe you want to get back to the hood. Maybe just maybe people in the hood are shooting themselves in the foot because you're helping people, but they're not trying to help themselves. You teaching them how to fish instead of giving them fish, and they don't appreciate that. They just want free fish. And you were never given free fish, so you don't get the concept of giving somebody free fish. Because you had to get it out the mud. Now they mad that you got it out the mud, but they ain't mad enough to put in the work to get themselves out of the mud. So, I'm mad that you came up. Or maybe... Maybe, just maybe. 
I'm not mad at you because you came up. I'm mad at you that you had the, the courage to leave. Or you believed in yourself. So I don't have the courage to leave. And I don't believe in myself. And I hate you for showing me what could have possibly happened if I did have the courage to, believe, to leave. And if I did believe in myself. I'd rather knock you off the map. Because if you don't exist, I don't have to hear the stories about that you came up just like I came up, but you made it because of your work ethic and your circumstance. And there may be some luck in there too. But you did put in some work. And when people said you were crazy and you, it wasn't going to happen and you ain't got it like that, you proved everybody wrong. And maybe, just maybe, you know, you mad because you don't, you don't think you can prove people wrong because you ain't got the hard to try. So when people look at you, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Whose fault is that? I'm just asking a question. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Peace.